everyone, and welcome to the first annual Main Event Figure Federation Draft, the 2020 edition, the uh, pandemic edition, I guess we should say. I am the runner for the Jack brand, Troy, and with me, as always, is the runner for the Overdrive brand, he is Greg. What's up, Greg? What up? And we are coming to you today exclusive with our draft for the year 2020. This is a monumental moment. Obviously, uh, you are a big fan of the uh, Major Wrestling Figures podcast. And I just started listening to not all their shows, but I've been listening to their uh, Figure Wrestling Federation stuff. It's pretty cool, man. And you and I decided we wanted to do something not quite the same, but similar. And I think we got a good take on it. I got yeah, I like what we're going. I like what we're going to be doing as far as the um, the rosters because, like, there's so many guys you're going to have that I can't have and vice versa. Right. And, and I think some, that, that makes it fun. Yeah, yeah, because there won't be, like, not everybody's going to be snaked. Uh, you know, obviously, there's some guys that I'm going to have that you want and vice versa that, you know, we can have. So that will make it interesting. But at the same time, like you said, for those that don't know, I am going to be using exclusively Jack specific figures. Um, I we're not going any specific like wrestling federation because they made like they, they made figures for a couple different federations. Obviously, mostly WWE, but you know the the uh, catchphrase of mine on the podcast for a long time has been I have Jack's figure of him. It's usually something obscure that I want to point out. So I got a ton of uh, Jack specific figures because I've been collecting them basically since I was like seven years old. Whereas Greg doesn't really have many Jax figures, if any, right? I, I have I have one Jax figure. Oh, who's that? <laughs> I can't tell you because I don't want you to snake them. I'll oh, tell you okay. after. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. But, uh, yeah, I have that one lone Jax figure. <laughs> okay. Well, that uh, that basically sums it up. I mean, I have a lot I, of... I do have oh, the okay. Jazzwares figures, which were an evolution of the Jax, you know, the AEW figs. They are essentially an evolution of the Jax ones because Jeremy Padauer is the guy who runs it and he made the Jax figure. So uh, they're obviously not in the same style. They're more in style with the Mattel ones, but like I said, they're the evolution of that one. So that uh, makes sense. Yeah. And I don't have any, so that wasn't really a possibility. I do have some classic WCW figures from Toy Biz and I, yeah, I there's have- a lot of guys you're going to be picking out of that line that I'm going to be jealous about. Honestly, I was just like the other night I was looking at all the, all, all the Jax lines. Yeah. And like, there's a, and we'll get into this later, but there's a couple of people, that are glaring omissions. They've never had a Mattel figure. There's no except. There's no reason for. Right. And I mean, I could just say this now because this is the one you know I've been talking heavily about, and it's no, yeah, it's no surprise to me you're gonna take them. But like, there's never been Action Smash Mattel figures, and that like pisses me off. I mean, I get why yeah. because of the whole lawsuit thing. But like, why? Like early, early before all that, it just it makes no sense. I mean, oh, I know. I they have Crush like in his demolition gear. <laughs> But I'm like, I okay, crush, I, yeah. and I mean, no disrespect, because I, I love Crush, you know, but not that Crush, you know, and it's like, they made that, but not the other two, not the core members, they made the other guy. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So there's obviously going to be a lot of Jax talk and, or, and uh, Mattel talk, just figure talk in general. And uh, yeah, this, you know, that's all this is going to be, which I'm stoked for. Yes. And it's something different. If you want, I mean, this is all on the same feed. If you want to listen to the weekly show, ladies and gents, every single Wednesday we drop the uh, main event marks and we're growing the main event brand so to speak we got the main event collector on instagram it's at main event collector that's uh, run all by greg he does all that because he's as much as i collect i don't collect nearly as much as, as greg does anymore so uh yeah, yeah I, have a, I have a problem so <laughs> well, uh, i yeah, continuously just, tell myself though you know what it's okay i'm not spending my money on drugs or something so it's okay <laughs> yeah, just just toys, and it's okay. You know, gr- grown men still collect toys. So, oh man, I, I need to play with my toys, man. <laughs> uh, get them off the wall, man. Let them breathe. In all honesty, dude, seriously, when I open them up, they go right into the detolf. Like I think every one of these figures has only been touched once to be taken out of the box and put into the detolf. Wow. <laughs> well, everybody, uh, you know, there, there's obviously not going to be like footage of anything. Like maybe once in a while. You know, if we really want to record like uh, something to put up on Instagram or, or Twitter, fine. But for the most part, it's it, we're we're gonna do some fig photography here and there. I'm still moving into my new place, so that's you know to come down the line when I break everything out. But for the most part, this is just audio. We do own the figures. We have the rules. We'll post the rules on uh, social media and all that stuff, and uh, our website coming soon. Hopefully, uh, we'll post all that on there. But 
really, I wanted to run down real quick before we get into all this. I just wanted to quickly run down what the draft rules are because we are drafting today. That's what this whole show is about. Uh, I mean, I assume you all figured it out from the description of the, the episode. Quickly running down just the, the draft rules here. Each brand will have 30 seconds on the clock for each draft pick. Each brand will draft exactly 25 wrestlers each. Uh, so 20, I guess 25 rounds or 50 rounds, whatever you want to call it. No, it's 25 rounds, just 50 picks. Okay, yeah, 50 picks in total. Each brand must stick to their specific toy brand. So I am only drafting Jack specific figures. Greg is only drafting Mattel. I'm not going to pull out a random, you know, uh, I, I do have some old school ECW figures, like from back in the 90s. Uh, like, I'm not gonna well, yeah, the, the thing that Brian Myers would have done, you know, because he did it in the first fed with AJ Styles. Oh, it, was in, it was in the style of Ruthless Aggression. I mean, the one thing you could do is like, oh, I'm going to get Kenny Omega because he's, you know, Jack specific style or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that well, would be like the thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of stuck on just Mattel, so I have no loopholes, honestly. Right. And I, I don't really technically the only quote unquote loophole I have, if you want to call that one, is Jack specific. Like I mentioned, did I mean, they were the WWE toy makers for the longest time and then they switched to TNA figures. So I could, you know, I got some TNA Jack specific figures I could pull out. Uh, but, you know, that's maybe that might happen today. Was yeah, that Jack? Yeah, those are Jack specific. I thought it was Marvel. Nope. Well, they were Marvel first, and then they got – because remember, they started making the, the – uh, the, Oh, the that's right. Line. They did have two lines. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. So uh, I'm not going to spoil think, I, I still think the, the Mattel one was – I mean, Marvel one was better, but yeah. Uh, I do for most of them. There are a couple of figures where I'm like, dude, you know, I, I hate the ones with, you know, the such and such action. Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, that AJ Styles with that stupid thing popping out of his back for his action. I mean, yeah. that was, that was I got, stupid. I got that with my six-sided ring. Yep. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can only – you can draft tag teams as – it's going to count as two picks, but you can do it, like, in succession. So, like, if – say, like you mentioned, I'll just say Demolition. Spoiler, I'm not going to draft them because Greg already said he can't draft them. So why would I waste a draft pick on that? That's show? shocking. Well, I mean, I, I I don't want to draft ones where it's like, oh, I can pick it up. You know, because we can have a maximum roster of 30 if yeah. we want. So there's five surprises that we can – we don't have to draft but can still be on our roster. And if you want to know all the rules for that stuff, check out the uh, social media and the website and whatnot. Uh, the reason it's shocking, by the way, is real quick. We, when we were in New Orleans uh, at WrestleCon, TJ damn near wet his pants when he got to meet Demolition. Oh, yeah. Well, I, that was one of the ones that my, my dad used to, like, geek out over. So I guess it was. Oh, yeah, totally. Right and I, just, I was like, like, I just was like a kid at Christmas when you saw them. Like, Holy crap. Yeah. I mean, kind of made like, I kind of made the whole trip worth it, honestly. <laughs> Not yeah, to get too sentimental okay. about it. But, oh, my God, he looked like a kid at Christmas. It was great. Right. And obviously they don't look like the demolition of old, but in my eyes, I was like, well, these are the dudes coming out, you know, and the, well, they forgot the they have to get, So, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, that, that was, you know, what it was, but, but yeah, so like, I'll just use them for an example, not to ruin anything for the, for the tag team thing, but say I said, uh, pick number two is a uh, demolition smash and, and I want the tag team. So pick number three is demolition X. So, right, right. But part of the rule is too, you don't have to take them both. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So if you just say you're drafting the Dudleys, if you just want Bubba to use his bully or or may, maybe you want to rebook Reverend Devon. There you go. So, you, you know, you take. Yeah, they never made him a tell Reverend Devon. Ugh. I don't think they made I him quit. a bully Ray. Either. <laughs> Good Lord. But they, no, uh, all you got to do is use Bubba for that. He never really changed. He put a chain around his neck and wore a different shirt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that, I feel like his New York accent got a little bit thicker. Anyways, oh, I dig I dig uh, That's the, that's the one I'm thinking of off the top of my head. That would be a good like split up. Uh, and there are others like some teams that they were tag teams, but they don't count as like team. Hell no. Or X-Pac and Kane or Shawn Michaels, triple H. They were tag teams, but they, I don't know. And, and some of this is at our discretion. Like say if I were to say, well, uh, for you know, pick number five, I'm going to take Triple H, and then I want Shawn Michaels pick number seven. Greg can be like, well, eh, that's not really a tag team. You know, I veto that. Yeah. So I don't think there's going to be a lot of that going on, but you know, that's that's out there. Or say I take Christian, and then I want Edge. I mean, that's kind of up for it. it's like, eh, I don't know if you can do that. You don't like Edge? <laughs> yeah. Basically, I was... it's a little bit like this. Basically, with like very few exceptions, like maybe even the belly is being the exception. No picking guys that went on to have bigger single runs. So like Edge and Christian, like you just said. Yeah. But I think if you were to just – if you were to take the Dudleys, they're a tag team, you know, so. Right. I mean, they have a tag team name. I mean, Edge and Christian were just Edge and Christian. I mean, you can say The Brood, but, you know, they never – you know what I mean? I do. Something like that. Oh, but, you're talking uh, to them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, well, well, I'll talk to you too. But, uh, 
managers do not have to be drafted, but if you don't draft them and you're like, well, I'm going to use, like, I'm just going to say, well, there, there are certain ones that Jack's didn't make or Mattel made that are managers. Mattel's really getting in the obscure managers now. Like, they're just coming out with uh, uh, Paul Ellering. Whereas, obviously... Yeah, I, and that. I just got Classy Freddy Bossy, too. Nice, yeah. And, I mean, Jax did make that, but I'm just going to say I don't have him. So, Greg can use him, but he cannot let him wrestle unless it's for, like, a one-off, like, a, well, I got five minutes alone with you, you know, kind of Well, thing. I was just thinking that, too. <laughs> five minutes alone in a cage, brother. <laughs> Yeah, that was always like I do whatever I want to you. <laughs> I'm um, you alone in front of everybody. But um, oh, but yeah, yeah same with that. That and and Goldust threatening sexual assaults on the crowd in the past couple podcasts. We have a change of stuff. <laughs> uh, but this also goes. For, um, <laughs> hell yeah! This also goes for announcers and referees and whatever. I have a generic referee. That's all I have. I think he came with the monster ring back in the '90s. So yeah, I I I don't have to worry about him being snaked by Greg. Uh, but the announcers, you and I, I did not tell you my announcers, but you told me yours, so I know that mine are not going to interfere with yours. I, I might have changed mine up, but still, you can't use these guys, so it's okay. Okay, it works. And we'll talk, we'll introduce, before we get into the draft, we'll introduce our authority figures, who also cannot be used as wrestlers, unless we draft them. And we will introduce our uh, announcers. So we'll get into that before the official trade. Last rule, trades can uh, can be made, or offered rather, but at the end of the draft, the only caveat is you cannot exceed your roster limit. I don't think that's going to be a problem because, I like like I said, maximum of 30. So if, say, um, you draft one dude and I want to offer you a tag team and a switch yeah. is going to put you at 26. And obviously, that's- yeah, right. And obviously we can't really do it unless we own those figures. Right. So going and- back to the demolition thing, you're not going to be like, oh, I'll trade you demolition floor. I'm like, well, I can't because I can't use them. So yeah, the, so trades may, one- the trades may be few and far between, honestly, I think. Right. There are some obvious ones, you know, that we could do, but all right. Well, getting into the draft at hand, man, or I guess technically the last thing we have to do before the draft. Do you want, since you offered me the chance to pick first, I will let you introduce your, uh, do you you have an authority figure, correct? I do, but I'm not going to announce that right now. Okay. Okay. Well, but I will announce the other stuff. So, okay. So is that coming on the first episode or, uh, or are you just going to let that hang? (laughs) It might. Okay, well, let still it planning some stuff. Full disclosure, I haven't really planned out a lot of stuff yet because I wanted to know my roster. So I have yeah. general ideas, but I, I need to, like, I have, like, the overall map, but I need to plug in the states, if you will. If you will. If you will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. uh, Sounds good. Did you want to announce your announce team? Yes. Okay. I will Go be using this is a really random duo, but I will be using this. Is, and I just, I forgot I even had a figure of the second guy, so I will be using Gorilla Monsoon and Corey Graves. Oh, you have Corey Graves? I do, yeah, the basic. And he's in his suit, too, so. What? I didn't, wow, I forgot that was even a thing. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a, a, a hell of a team. <laughs> Dude, when I, when I thought about that team, like, oh, my God, I would probably cream my pants. Like, that's my favorite now and my favorite when I was a kid. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's good. In full disclosure, I was going to use Gorilla Monsoon. I have the wrestling Gorilla Monsoon, like, in a singlet. Uh, but I was going to be like, whatever, you know. We have to be somewhat realistic, but at the same time, like, that's what I got. Uh, so I was going said, well, I, I want to use it. I'm like, all right, cool. I, I got a backup. So I'm going to introduce my uh, authority figure here to start off with. First of all, uh, we are not Roll being time. brought to you. <laughs> we are not being brought to you by Mountain Dew, but I did buy the new Maui Burst, which is apparently pineapple flavored Dew. So we'll see how it goes. What, May, what a professional they, guy. He's trying to get us uh, some uh, sponsorship right at the beginning. That's professional and- right there. And it's you get points for that. I like it. Yeah. Hey, Mountain Dew. Sponsor. I'll do the Dew, man. But all right. Without I actually quit do. drinking soda, so I'll, I'm drinking yeah. coffee, but which is actually highly more caffeinated, but it's not sugary. So, <laughs> uh. Well, without further ado, here's my uh, – I got some music queued up here for uh, the introduction of my authority figure. Hey, it's Eric Bischoff. Easy E. He is the showrunner for Jack. Holy hell. What? I don't have an Eric Bischoff figure. Oh. I do. He's in his Survivor Damn. series. It's, 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 it's random. He's in a Survivor series t shirt with his leather jacket on. I'm kind of like, jealous of that. Yeah. So I. I, oh, I need to out. knock it out of the park with my authority figure. So <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you know this because you've known me for so long. I'm pretty sure you know I'm a huge mark for uh, Easy E. 
Yeah, that was another one we flopped over to in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get his autograph, unfortunately, yeah, but I, I did too because he was walking around saying hi to people, and yeah. I did the uh, typical Mark thing. I like, I was like, "F it, I'm gonna do it." I jumped right out in front of him, put my hand out. I was like, "Hey, Eric, nice to meet you," and he shook my hand, and I was like, "Good enough." <laughs> I uh, told him, uh, "Thanks for telling me about Foley." I switched over, and I was like laughing. He laughed his ass off at that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. I couldn't yeah. help it. Uh, oh hell yeah, it might, might as well, man. What, you know. yeah. But all right, now let me introduce my. I, I, I was saying I am drafting my color commentator, so he will do both color and wrestling. So that that's that's why I'm not going to introduce him yet. Oh, he's going to get a spoiler. He's going to bleed. <laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, all right, but let me introduce my play by play announcer. Good old Jr. Jim Ross. Is that his war Tony suit? He is in his war Tony suit. Yes. I don't know what the hell I did with his uh, with his cowboy hat, so that's going to have to be off right now. Plus the fact that it doesn't fit on with his headset, so he's going to be he's going to have to be like a cross between WCW era and WWF era. So it you know. You have to forgive me for the for the uh, the crossover there, but you know it is it is what it is. I, look, I, I I mean no disrespect to the guy, but I think he was better like post WWE or post WWE early WWE. So you may have the prime one, anyways. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's uh, this is like you could use him as the heel, Jim Ross, that we were just talking about in a recent episode of uh, Main Event Marks. He won't be a heel, just as a. Uh, uh, spoiler. <laughs> See, if I could do Mattel and Jax, I would have uh, somebody actually did this on a fantasy league one time. They had him managing Jack Swagger. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, kind of. Weird, I don't know why that took me a second, but yeah, okay. Yeah, the uh, the Okies. He's the second right. greatest wrestler in Oklahoma history. Rest in peace, Doctor Death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll we'll say that. All right, uh, well. Everybody uh, listen to the newest. Uh, well, okay, this is obviously late, but uh, right after the last pay per view, uh, as far as Doctor Death goes, it's hilarious. Go listen to it after the last major pod. FWF. Yeah, <laughs> just, okay. it just brought back memories from the Oh my god! <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. Well, are you ready to get into the actual draft here, Greg? Start draft. Audio technical difficulties. I didn't know they made a classic figure, Danny Davis, in his ref suit, with, like with the the bow tie and everything. So uh, did they? I, because yeah, I know they made one of him in his wrestling tights. Well, they did because I was going through because I'm like I forget what all I have, and I don't have my wrestlers right in front of me. So I was scrolling through classic figures. And I'm like, have him, don't have him, have him, don't have him, and I was like, Danny Davis in his ref attire. All right. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> the bow tie and all, man. Uh, it's, I, I actually used to love that look. I still do love that look, but either way. All right. Well, I don't think we're really going to have to do the 30 seconds on the clock because I think you and I pretty much got our draft boards filled out. Like you said, I don't uh, know that there's going to yeah. be that much snaking, but all right. Well, well I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say it. Just go ahead. Never mind. <laughs> all right. Well, here we go. For the first pick of the 2020 May, uh, main event figure federation draft for the jacked brand Troy Adams goes with Hulk Hogan wow I got it right <laughs> wow really you assumed I was going to go with Hogan I it, uh, I had one of two guys and the other one you will be taking I, I yeah I know for okay, a fact well, you will See, when you said, well, I know who you're going to pick, I honestly, I was like, oh, he'll never see Hogan coming. <laughs> but, okay. Really? Yeah. I, th- I There's someone who I thought you thought it was going to be, but we'll get into it. Either way. Uh, if I get to pick him, or at the end of the draft, whichever comes first, uh, I, you know, we'll, we'll see. But, all right. Uh, this leads into Greg's first pick. Hold on. Let me queue up. Let me queue it up. For the first, for the uh, first pick for the Overdrive brand in the Main Event Figure Federation 2020 draft, Greg will draft 
Who? I want to make it clear, by the way, people are going to be like, why the hell did you take these guys all first? Okay. <laughs> people need to keep in mind, these are guys that you could get. So okay. I have to take them first. I'm in a unique yeah. position. Okay. Okay. So, like, why the hell are they first? I'm worrying now. I'm shaking Spo- a bit. Spoiler, I said they. So my first pick is a tag team, which are one and two. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. I had to because I know you were going to take at least one of these guys. Okay. Yes. Ah. Yes. Ah. So which, which I'm taking them both. I, like I will be Jeff I, Matt. Well, Jeff, he's my favorite. But like, I'm like, Mike, I think he might take at least Matt because I know how much of a huge. I mean, I know you like them both, but I know you're a huge Matt Hardy Mark. Uh, yeah. I, I'm like, yeah, I got to take them first because I want them. Damn. So, yeah, and I will be using the Ringside Collectibles Brood Hardy Boys. Oh, man, that's nice. Nice pick. Yeah, yeah I... With, with the with the option to upgrade their looks later, because I have multiple Jeffs and multiple Mats, so... Nice. Uh, yeah, they... I mean, full disclosure, I did have them on my draft board, but they were quite... Like, I don't want to say they were way far down, but they were much further down than how you picked them. So. Yeah. So, they, like I said, there's quite a few early ones. Uh, people are like, why the hell did you take them first? Just keep in mind, I want to reiterate one more time. These are all guys you can take. Matter of fact, I might say until number nine, they're all weird because, like, you can take them. Up until number nine. After number nine, uh, I don't have to worry. No one you can get. <laughs> okay. Uh, huh. I don't know how to feel about that. But All right. Uh, well, then for uh, – we're not going to play music for all of them off, uh, <laughs> like, uh, like we have been. But Well, you got to do it for the first one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well – I'm going to do it for my second pick as well, just because of who it is. For the second pick for the Jack brand, Troy will go with the nature boy, Ric Flair. Woo! Wow. I didn't call him at all. No. I do have, obviously, I I mean, because we're sticking, we're, we're being honest here. I will take a picture of him. I have him in his red. He's got the, got the long hair, the red, um, uh, robe and all that good stuff it is obviously since i got the uh, mattel versions of rick versions i have multiple uh, i i don't use the jacks one anymore but i will now for this oh yeah there you go but all right pick number two dopes for the uh overdrive brand well, this will be pick three technically so okay well yeah yeah, yeah. um i don't play music uh number oh. three i am um... actually i'm sorry you you you, you drafted a tag team so that's it's uh, one and two Okay, so... I mean, it's actually one. Okay, I guess it is two. Okay, we'll I, go back. Does that mean I get... I, cause, spoiler, we didn't discuss this offline. Is that, if you draft a tag team, does that mean the next person does two in a row? No, no, it just means that I now have 24 overall. Okay, Picks. okay. One of them's wrapped go. up into two, yeah. Gotcha, okay, cool. go for it. Uh, number three, I am taking Shelton Benjamin. Wow. I, um... Did you have him on your board? He's not even on my board. I do uh, have him. That was one. I it's, that was one. I was like, okay, he's got a jack. You can take him. Also, I will be using the gold standard one because I got the chase version, so he will be the gold standard. Huh. Well, that uh, sucks. But no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, no, Shelton. I always I loved his run with Triple H. And I can't remember what year it was, but that and that was when 2004. He, yeah, that was that was okay. yeah, amazing peak, run. Yeah, yeah, peak Shelton right there. I do have the the world's greatest tag team. Uh, package. They're in their uh, maroon uh, singlets, like when they first broke off from being Team Angle. So if anybody remembers that, I have I have that version of Jax. I do not have Team Angle. So Go back and watch them at the Vengeance 2003 against Mysterio and Kidman. One of the best mat- tag matches you'll ever see. Yeah, man, check that out. It was classic. Okay, well, I may be overdoing that, but man, it was <laughs> it was great. I got to meet them at a Ring of Honor show, but that's uh, beside the point. Uh, getting back to the draft here, my number three Doing some heavy hitters right off the bat, man. I got uh, this is the one I thought that you thought would be my number one, but he's number three. I'm going with the Undertaker. He was my number two for you. Oh wow! So you thought Hogan and Taker? I, huh? I did think Hogan first. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So uh, I'll be honest. I did like uh, maybe Undertaker number one, but yeah, I definitely had him in the top two. Well, I guess I'm more predictable than I thought I was, even when I'm trying to be unpredictable. <laughs> well, I but wouldn't he, take no. Yeah, that's... I'll be honest, I didn't even have him on my board because, yeah, reasons. <laughs> yeah. I love him. Girl, I'm a huge fan, but it's like, you know. Yeah. Well, that is my num- numeral trace. For number three for the Overdrive brand, 
who uh, who you got? Okay, you just ha- this guy has to be on your board. He has to be because I know how much of a mark you are for him. So oh, I'm taking. God. I said the hurricane. Wow. Um, he's not on my board. <laughs> wow, you're making my first few picks look stupid now. <laughs> You're taking all the ruthless aggression, dudes. I mean, they were good. Uh, they, I mean, wait, hold on. You don't have Simon Dean on your board, do you? No, they never made a Mattel of him. Blasphemy. Oh, God damn. Yeah, I was going to say, because you're about to blow my whole draft if you got Simon Dean. <laughs> the old bracket buster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, well, no, the Hurricane was not on my draft board. I'm, That's I, shocking, because I know you're a huge mark for him. I am. And I, I, I think I told that. you this. I think I told you the story about when I like when they first made a figure of him, and I looked and looked for him, and I finally saw one of his figures. And I did the and keep in mind I was a I was a child at the time, so this is what what's, you have to do when you're changed now. But uh-huh, uh-huh. but I was a child at the time, so I'd go ask my mom, "Hey, could you buy me whatever?" But instead of snaking the figure and going to my mother, I went to my mother and then went back for the fig. And by the time I went back for the fig, it was gone, and I was heartbroken. Dude, man, that's fig hunting one hundred and one. I that. know. Well. Hey, rookie mistake, man. <laughs> ah, but either way, that uh, yeah. I, see, I'm going with the same philosophy. With I'm grabbing people that I really want that I know you can have. Most of the people that I got, I think you can have. There are uh, a few of them. I but, feel like everybody so far, I could have. Yeah. Well, you could definitely have my number four. Number four pick for the Jacks brand. I'm gonna go with the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Damn. I didn't yeah. even think of him for Jax. I gotta take him off my board now. I have wow. a couple that's the, of Jax figure of him. That's the first pick in this draft that See, know, so hard, the hardest part of this well, is actually, figuring out which one I want to use. The WrestleMania ten version, the WrestleMania nine version. Uh I could go with I, I have the figure of him from the first elimination chamber at Survivor series. Isn't that one yeah. hideous? Uh, I will say the figure looks a lot better than the actual one because instead of brown, they made his tights uh, black. Does he have but a Karen has, haircut? Yeah, he still has the, the Dutch boy haircut. <laughs> uh, Which, yes, I, is hideous. I will have that WrestleMania 9 Shawn Michaels very soon because they're making him a telephone finally, which I'm stoked yeah. about. I have him for, uh, for Jax, as I just mentioned. I also have a, uh, I mean, not to spoil any, he's, Marty Zanetti's not on my board, not to spoil anything. Oh, but, uh, man. <laughs> but uh, I do have the Rockers, so I, I could use that Shawn Michaels. I'm not going to. I, I have a 1989 Shawn Michaels Rocker figure. <laughs> wow. Nice. All right, pick number uh, – sorry, taking a sip of the dew. Uh, pick number – what is it, five for you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah one, pick, two – yeah, technically one, two, three. This is pick four, sorry. Okay. But, uh, the, the next pick. The next pick. <laughs> yeah, for the, the Overdrive brand – Greg will take who? The goats. What? Wait, which goat? Ah. Uh, yes. Oh, you're taking gonna... them both. Ah, uh, second tag team of the draft. I like it. Yeah. Why not have the best ever? Uh, you and I heavily disagree on that one, but I shouldn't say heavily. I'm a huge fan of theirs, but... Yeah, it's it's a bit of a disagreement. If you, say the, if you say the young bucks, I swear to God, our friendship's over. <laughs> I say FTR, but I can actually respect that. But no. <laughs> yeah, I, I huge huge marks for them. It all comes down to style, I guess. So I, I, I've just always dug their old school style. But in my older age, I've become uh, more of an NWA style mark. But either way. Uh, all right. Well, number five. I don't have another tag team for a couple of picks here, so I'm hoping you don't snake them. <laughs> um, well, okay. After my next pick, honestly, everybody on my board, you can't possibly get if that helps. Okay. Uh, but all right. The next pick for the jacked brand, I am going with the Hitman, Bret Hart. Wow. What? Did you have him on your board at all? No, no. I just oh. forgot about it. <laughs> you forgot about the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be? I just told you I took the Usos. No. How, how dare you soil the good name of Bret Hart by comparing him to the Usos? Well, one of them I actually believe is the best ever. One of them I think is his best ever, but whatever. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm just going to smack you for disparaging the... You know how much of a mark I am for Bret Hart. I mean, he's great, but, but 
best ever? I mean, you know, Kurt Angle yeah. still lives, right? Or wrestled. Yeah, just, man, you're, you're breaking my, you're breaking my heart, Fredo. All right, but anyway, that brings up, man, those are, those are the ones, I mean, after this, I still really want all these picks, obviously, but those were, like, my top five, my fave five, dog. Those were the ones I really was like, I hope I get those so bad. But all right, who who you got up next? Up next is another tag team. Oh man, okay. The they are the inspiration for this. Okay. Any hints? <laughs> oh gosh, I I don't even. Yes. And I will be using that theme. Wait. Is that the Major Bros? Yep. Wow. I I don't have I still don't have a Kurt Hawkins or so a Brian Myers that. or whatever. Say what? You do have Zach though, right? Uh yeah, but it's the like right when he started wearing the trunks and stopped with the oh. one leg tights. So yeah. and it's a basic. So eh. I looked around trying to find one online and it's damn near impossible unless you want to pay bank. Which is hilarious because it's like Man, like, Matt Cardona just, like, blew up and became, like, a rarity in the toy fig community. Mm. But, all right, well, my next pick here is one that you and I actually talked about before this whole draft, and I I brought him up as an example. My next pick, number six, I'm going to go with, it's Stang! It's Stang. Stang, yeah. (laughs) No, I'm not going to paint up my Heath Slater. (laughs) No, this, uh, yeah, number six, man, this was, I, I was, like, because I brought up him to you, I was, like, I said something about, oh, I have a, the Surfer Sting, and then I started thinking about it, I'm, like, well, I also have, like, two other TNA versions of Sting, uh, deluxe, like, edition of Jax, whatever, so I could use multiple versions of him, and you were, like, oh, cool, I'm gonna have to grab him quick so you don't, so I honestly thought you were gonna snake him. I had him on here, but, um, it looks, going off this, looks like you're gonna go a little more classic i'm going to go more modern for the yeah. most part that's so that's yeah figured. so there, there's not going to be a whole lot of fig stealing here and snaking of uh, the guys yeah. uh, which which is fine by me uh let you less uh less man meat to fight about but going forward i can tell you this though no one on, yeah like i said no one on my board now you can get so okay well that kind of makes my next picks uh or easy i guess i don't know but we'll see who you got for the next one, Broski. What number is this? Like, one, two, three, four, five. This is pick nine. This is the ninth one overall, but pick six. Yeah, you can so, that. So, so, well, so we don't get sued. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Wasn't that on How I Met Your Mother? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, God. All right. Uh, so you, uh, so, who's on yeah. next? <laughs> uh, next. Oh, I could have yes. him. I was thinking about snaking him just to piss you off. <laughs> that would have been mirror image of the first draft. AJ Styles was like the of the, the major ones. Um, he yeah, was the except, center of controversy. <laughs> yeah, except this time it would be all legal because Jack Pacific actually made an AJ Styles figure. So, and, and I ran out a certain um, guy in Dayton that you and I both know. I ran to the store with him, found him, and like marked the app out. We're talking like six uh, uh, clean up on aisle fives right here, man. <laughs> well, hell yeah, man! I can't I can't believe he took the best in the world. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I mean, I guess I, I should have known, but uh, yeah, you you're a bigger mark for him than I am. If people if people are gonna go, would you save them for that long? And now I'm glad I took him when I did because apparently you could have got him. Yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> well, I'm finally. I actually my first... real real quick. I think going from here on out, this is how I would have had my board, like from one to finish. So, ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. My next one actually is, uh, my first tag team of the draft officially. I'm going to go with one of my favorite tag teams of all time. Mine and yours. Yeah. We're coming down. Damn it. Got the Dudley boys. Believe it or not, I do not have Mattel figures of them. And I thought about buying them specifically for this. <laughs> Nice. I I have both actually. I was really uh, happy. I got uh, the Mattel figures. 
The Jax figures I have are the ones right before they left WWE. If you remember that Bubba wore a T-shirt. Actually, he wore a jersey, but mine has a T-shirt. And are they in those yellow wore, camo? <clears throat> they are, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember Bubba's those. Bubba's in the shorts. Yeah. Because when I was looking for the figs, that's the ones I saw. I was like, oh, wait, those are Jax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I thought about it. I was like, man, I can't get the Dudley boys. And I was like, wait a minute. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> always, I got, uh, always remember that pop in Barclays when they return, man. <laughs> yep, yeah. You, had, for those that don't know, we talked about it. If you go back in the archives of the Main Event Marks podcast, we talked about it on the SummerSlam 2015 pod. We were there on Raw the night that the the Dudleys returned, and Greg, I think, hit the roof with his head. Pretty sure I did. <laughs> yeah. So. There you go. He almost concussed himself right there in New York. <laughs> and he wasn't even wrestling. But, all right, so that is my first tag team of the draft. Um, now that I'm looking, that is number seven and eight. Bubba first, Devon second. Not that it really matters, but, you know, for for the sake of, because uh, I asked you about the Hardys. So. All right. Uh, who you got for your next pick? pick i'm a huge fan of this guy it's not a popular thing amongst some people but i have big plans for him huge plans for him oh man oh yes Yes, baron corbin and yours probably still has hair (laughs) rumor has it he may be getting a makeover by january (laughs) Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah Whenever the hell that figure comes out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, that's the King Corbin, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'll be using Barrett Corbin, but yes. Oh, well, I sure as hell hope so, because King Corbin sucks. I don't know. That's an opinion, but, you know, whatever. All right, well, I guess that brings... <laughs> Brings me to a guy I don't know if he if he's on your board because you keep talking about well I know you can't get these so I'm like well I don't know if you know the extent of my collection <laughs> see that's that's the one advantage I have over Greg is he doesn't know half the Jacks figures I have yeah, I mean unless you're you pretty much know every one I have so. yeah unless you're going straight uh, like modern era audio technical difficulties. Uh, Mattel figures and and I did tell him a couple where I was like look they made both but I don't have these guys so all right number nine for the jacked brand I picked mm. you hear that countdown uh oh could it be are the walls about to get broke down I think they are Greg oh. Chris Jericho is coming to the Jack brand on Monday night. Hmm. The goat, baby. I had on my list. All right. Damn it. Uh, All right. right. You were getting bumped. You. you were getting bumped. For, God, I can believe I forgot he had a Jack's figure. You were, and I don't know why the hell I forgot. I feel like he's having a figure in every line. I'm going to bump him for him. I, okay, have cool. to, I have to decide if I'm going to go with Lionheart. Chris Jericho look, or if I'm going to go with King of the World ponytail look. So, uh, probably King of the World, but... Yeah, because he can use an awesome saliva theme. Oh, gosh. I mean, yeah, I mean... I mean oh, gosh, funny. that was an amazing song. It is, it is. I'm not putting down the song, but I, I don't know. I just It was hard for me to find anything I would like more than Break Down the Wall, but... Uh, Judas, what about Judas? Uh, yeah, when he came out with Judas, I was like, okay. Because I said to myself, I was like... If he gets another theme, I will not accept it unless it's Judas. And then he came out with Judas. And I'm like, okay, you win, Chris Jericho. If you were to do that, you should use the version on YouTube where Sammy Guevara is singing. My good lord. What? No. That man, his voice is heavenly, man. I'll never forget the night that TNT cut the break when he was singing. And then I tweeted at Jericho and Sammy, and they both like liked it. Like, how dare you? Kept the commercial in the middle of a Sammy Guevara singing Judas. That man's voice is heavenly. My God. I'm going to smack the crap out of you. 
Well, so far, you've only snaked <laughs> two of my picks. Uh, so you could have actually drafted them later because, full disclosure, I had the Hardy Boys going at like 2021. 20, See, but I didn't know. Right, yeah. And I had well, to make obviously. sure I snagged them. Like, yeah, I'm not yeah. taking a chance on this. Yeah, if you've got plans for them, like, I have big plans for Hogan and Flair. Uh, spoiler, you know, I mean, but I mean, it's Hogan and Flair. Why would you not have plans for them? You know, uh, so. the young star Ric Flair who lost to Mr. Perfect on, on TV and now he has no use. Yeah, <laughs> that, he lost to Hennig. Yeah, well, the, the Flair I'm going to use is before he lost to Hennig on TV, so he's still useful. To me. Oh, thank God. Whew. Yeah, right. <laughs> thank the wrestling gods. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if you're being like sarcastic here. No, no, I'm definitely serious. not. Definitely not. No sarcasm right. here. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's hear who you got next. All right, Max, there's no way in hell we can get this guy because he only had two figures. Okay. Yes. Ah. Uh, uh, why am I blanking on the, the theme? Pete Dunn. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I hate you. You got the bruiser weight. I mean, well, not that I could get yeah. him, obviously, like you said, but. Damn. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, good pick. Damn. Uh, I mean, I. I exactly why you kept him later on into mm. the draft because he probably would have been number him and AJ would have been number one and two for me. Yeah, and then I threw Barrett in there as number two or technically number two, but it's like ah, they can't, can't get him. But at this point, it does. I'm there no in specific order. At this point, they're just guys you can't get. But yeah, like if there's we one, if we were well, sharing, he would have been my top five at least, uh, top two at least. So yeah, there's one guy if you don't take him. I'm gonna slap you, but uh, hmm. so we'll, we'll 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 see if you don't if you got him on your board. Now I'm intrigued. But next up for number, uh, let's see, number ten on the Jacked brand. Welcome to Jacked on Monday nights. <sighs> Son of a. <laughs> All right, yeah, I can, uh, oh, man. It's another one I forgot they made jacks of. Yep, I got I the, uh, sure his I thought for sure, I don't know why, but I thought for sure his entrance crates or the one that came with the ring, one of the two, was his first WWE fig. No, I got one from his first run in WWE and the black trunks with the white logo and the white trim around the, the trunks. Ah, uh, I have so that. that is, I actually have that. That was the one I was going to use, because that's the one I have. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Until later this year when I get his WrestleMania 36 figure. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's the the one I have. And I also have the, um, the WCW one. Obviously, I won't be using it, but it's that one that came with Rey Mysterio. You can do the jackhammer to him. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so I got that one. Because we all remember the great Rey Mysterio-Goldberg uh, rivalry in WCW, so that made sense. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, full disclosure, when I first got that toy, I wasn't a big WCW guy. I kind of only knew, like, you know, the real big, like, main event guys, the former WWE guys. And I'm like, who's this little jobber that comes yeah, out? I'm pretty sure the packaging just said Mass Wrestler, too. Yeah, probably. It looks like the most generic Rey Mysterio you've ever seen in your life. But, yeah. you know. Ugh, such disrespect, man. Disrespect, pal. <laughs> Not good crap. <laughs> All right. Who you, who you got coming up in the next pick? For the next, brand. next is another cornerstone. Oh man! Ooh, yes, spin balore. I have multiple options there, so yeah, that's. Uh, I think I have a total of three figures of his. I think I have one, two, three, three demons, one human. <laughs> I've got two demons. I got his Japanese one uh, from Beast in the East. And then I've got the uh, the the one from Takeover London. Oh, that one with the hat. Yeah, I, was, I never got that one. You, I thought you did. You got it. Like I was with you when we got it, and you asked him, was like, "Do you have any more?" And you bought one, and then gave me one. That was uh, that was the. Oh, is it that one? Okay, never mind. Yeah. I'm thinking of the one. I'm thinking of the Toys R Us exclusive with the chainsaw. That's the one I'm thinking of, but I don't have. Huh. He also wore a hat in that, I believe, too. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'll, right. now that I think about, it, I have four demons because I was the very first ever figure, which I still not opened. I have a basic. Finn, where he's like in uh, for, from his NXT days, he's in like black trunks and red boots and kick pads, whatever. I, I feel like, and I don't know why the hell they would. They never made a basic of the demon. Uh, no, they didn't. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you would. Like, 
Yeah. 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 I, I, I feel the same way. Ah, but all right. Well, I'm not going to play music for my next one, but uh, I'm, I'm probably going to edit in some music here for some of these. My next pick is actually a tag team, and you're probably going to go like, what the hell? But you didn't draft him, one of these guys, high, so I don't feel so bad about taking him at, at pick 11. I'm going to go for pick 11 and 12, the Hollywood Blondes, Steve Austin and Brian Pillman. Yes, I have a oh. two-pack of the Hollywood Blondes. Damn. Yeah. It's kind of shocking to me that you're not going with Stone Cold. Uh, it could go that way in story. Oh, yeah, line. it's just like... Yeah, I, I I had to think long and hard. I was like, I gotta, I, have? I gotta give you points of originality because I would have said Stone Cold. <laughs> yeah, I I figured um, I I dug the Hollywood Blondes. I dug Stunning Steve as a singles guy. Uh, looking back at it, so yeah, early days, uh, and I get Pillman and Austin. So I I, uh, I will yeah. have I will have Stunning Steve very soon because the Mattel figure is coming out later this year. Nice. Yeah, I do not so, have Brian Pillman. I was an idiot and didn't get him when I could have, and now he's oh, like man. fifty bucks. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so. I, full disclosure, this is the only Brian Pillman I own. So yeah. it, I have the, Is he wearing his Bengals tights? No, he's in the he came in the two pack with Steve, so they're both in their Hollywood Blondes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Mattel one is a mashup because he's wearing his Mattel or his Bengals tights, but he's got the Hollywood Blondes uh, vest. So Yeah, kinda of weird. The one that uh, his son occasionally wears to the ring now. Yeah, which is great. Right. Uh. But all right, well that is uh my second tag team of the draft. Uh, Steve Austin, Brian Pillman. Who you got for your next pick? Next pick. Come off the board. What number is this, by the way? I am This on is pick 13, right? 13. Yeah, yeah, right okay. yeah. But I have one, two, three extra guys, so it's like 60. Right. <laughs> but this is thir- we're going to go with 13. Okay. Number thir- unlucky 13. Oh, my, this is actually kind of fitting. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Oh, Campa. I know you have that big that, that, not that you can use, but right, yeah. And wow. I know because I believe I sent it to you. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, I still have I still have them in a little baggie <laughs> that came in the mail. Wow, cool. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Like you said, obviously I cannot take him. So cool, cool. Glad he's uh, at least going to get used. So. We're we're big. We're both big Champa marks. Just putting that out there. So I I don't know who couldn't be a, a mark for him, but all right. Well, my next pick, uh, number thirteen, number thirteen for uh, uh, on the board. I don't screw this your... up because it's unlucky. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, number thirteen on the board. Number one in your hearts. I am going to go with The Rock. Wow, 13. Yeah, I was a little worried you were going to snake him, but... Uh, he was on my board early, but I was like, yeah. Take him? I, I, yeah. I just, I guess I, I went a little more modern with a couple of older guys. I kept sitting there. I do, like, I do have him on my standby, I will say that. Nice, okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, because I kept sitting there. I was like, he's not saying the rock. He's not saying the rock. Am I going to get the rock? Holy crap, I'm going to get the rock. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, number 13. Uh, I have multiple choices with him. I I do have a classic Rocky Maya Villa, complete with that weird yeah, me too. Like, neck dress thingy, whatever. So I could use him. I'm not going to, but I could. <laughs> if I was to take him, I would use uh, probably his, uh, his 19 or two, his 2000 look, or sorry, his 2013 look. But then swap it over to his current look because that ultimate figure is coming November 1st. Mm, okay. Yeah, I I think mine mine is like right before he left, I think. I think he's in the gold trim. So Does he have like um, hair, like fuzzy hair or just plain uh, bald? He, he has hair, but it's like they didn't do his hair right. So, I mean, you know, that's so jacks, but they, they, the hair is... Is the, is the tattoo over his, is over his right peck? No, he did Well, he he only has a one tap. Yeah. So yeah, it was before he left. Yeah. So it's kind of a mashup of like the hair and the you know whatever. So Mattel, it's known as a Makina mashup. <laughs> uh, what the heck is that? Well, Bill Makina is the guy who runs the Mattel and WWE's part of it, and uh, he'll occasionally uh, put multiple things and like like uh, I'm trying to find an example. 
like like someone say say someone had like a WCW run, he'll put something from there with their WWE run. Wow. Actually, I think a good a good um, example of that is that Brian Pillman. He made the flying Brian with the Bengals tights, but then he put the, the blonde jacket on him. That's a wow. perfect example. That's a Makina mashup. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, uh, who you got next? Next, number fourteen. No. I could have been a real Richard and taken him from you because <laughs> I do have a Robert Roode or Bobby Roode or whatever from TNA. Is but, Team Canada get up? No, it's uh, it's a, it's a Jack's version. So oh, it's, so it's, it's glorious. A, Not glorious. Um, his his single heel run right before he chops all his hair off. Didn't he have a name for that? Mm, uh, off the chain. Off the chain. Well, yeah, I was just yeah. All right, we'll go with that. The uh, yeah, the the leader of the selfish generation. Whatever. I have that T-shirt yes. too, by the way. Yeah. So, all right. Number uh, pick number fourteen and fifteen is another tag team. I'm trying to fill out my tag division here, putting some singles stars here in between the tag teams. Uh, now I'm looking at it. This is my last tag team that I have to draft since you took the Hardys. Uh, for these picks here, like I said, fourteen, fifteen. I'm going with. Oh, you didn't know the new age outlaws. Never got Mattel figures of them. What? Yeah. Oh man, I snagged that two pack as soon as I saw it. Yeah. I mean, they they're basics, made, but they only made, to my knowledge, two sets of Mattel figures of them. Uh, one of them I wasn't even collecting yet, and then the second one uh, I only found Billy Gunn at Target, and I was like, I don't want to get him and never get Road Dog. So I had made it a mission to find them both. I never found them both. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I found yeah. I got. Like, I thought I was, like, dreaming one day when I walked into the store, and I was like, they have a two-pack, the New Age Outlaws. I buy it. But, obviously, I have Jack's figures. The I could I could use my road dog with a ball cap permanently stuck to his head, or my road dog with a do-rag permanently stuck to his head. So, And then I have uh, Billy Gunn's signature series in his, like, light, like, sky blue trunks. And then I have one that's, like, uh, blackish with kisses all over it. Uh, that was his early run, or his late late run, I believe. Yeah, so I have options for, for both guys. But All right, so that's Road Dog, Billy Gunn. I, I, mm. It doesn't really matter what order, it's a good I pick. guess. Yeah, I wanted, a, I wanted a great classic tag team in there. And, uh, you know, we all kind of spoiled one of the surprises that I got. You know, obviously I have uh, uh, Demolition filling out my roster later on, but I'm not going to draft them because, you know, why? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, all right. Who you got up next on Laborde? Let's see if you even recognize this theme. Okay. Uh, no? Not ringing the bell. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, Red Dragon. Oh, my gosh. You're going to use that one? Hell yeah! Nice. You have wait. You currently own Red Dragon. Yeah. Huh. I got that whole three pack. Nice. Yeah. I I I did not know you. You probably. You, I know you told me. You probably sent me a picture. I'm like blanking right now. I huh. bought it. Uh, I think I bought. Did I buy it in Canada? Maybe. Hmm. hmm. I oh, think I'm gonna yeah. buy it in Canada. Yeah. Anyway, good pick. Uh, that's a hell of a tag team that obviously I cannot have. So <laughs> might as well might as well get them while you can. All right. Uh, so my next one, I'm filling out. I'm going to start. Uh, well, I guess I'm not technically starting the division with this guy because I, I did uh, draft some others that could uh, fill out this division earlier on. But this guy is going to be a centerpiece for one of my divisions here. No, pick number 16. You know, I have got to go with mm. Ray Ray. Uh, I had pick, him, bumped him, but yeah. pick number sixteen, Ray Mysterio. I think I've got. It's a damn good pickup. Oh yeah, I think I've got at least 
four Jax figures of him. Because I've got, I know I've got, his, yeah, I've got his, I've got his Halloween Havoc attire, um, I, where he's in the like the purple bodysuit, the one everybody knows. I've got him in like all blue with white shoes. I have him in his flat or yeah, his flash attire. And I think I got one more that I'm blanking on. Oh, uh, it's like his um, his kind of Mexico colors attire, where it's like half green, uh, yeah. half red. I yeah, so. honestly would have used his Halloween Havoc 1997 uh, attire. Yeah, that's probably the one I'm going to use most. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my favorite Mysterio figure that uh, did not come from Mattel. So. Uh, but yeah, so that is pick, uh, what is it, uh, 16 for me. Who's up next for the Overdrive brand? Up next. Oh, Johnny Wrestling. Yes. One of my, one of my Cleveland boys. He's probably really happy right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he is. Well, this isn't, <laughs> hopefully he's still happy when he <laughs> airs. They started uh, hot. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we'll we'll say that three in a row, uh, and we'll we'll keep it going. Ah, oh, man, that's that's a good one. I still have yet to open my Johnny Gargano because I got him right, either right before I moved or right after I moved, something like that. I think it was right before. I think I, you got. I think I got it for you in Chicago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it's funny, by the way, going back to what we were just talking about. I think by the time this airs, our teams will be playing this Sunday. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So you and I are going to be hating each other. Yeah. So. And then I think we. Uh, and then if if the schedule goes as usual, we're recording the next day, so we might have some hostility. So we'll see. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little, uh, little heat, <laughs> little, just a just a wee bit of heat with one another. <laughs> All right. Uh, so looking at my draft board here, um, I think my next. What are, what are we on? Eighteen, I think for me. Eighteen. Okay, eighteen. So my next pick for pick. Number 18, come into the Jack brand. Another dude on that huge Mark IV. A little shocked you didn't take him, but I don't know. I don't know how big of a Mark you are for this guy as much as I am, but. Big Daddy Cool. Uh, huge the Mark. Big man. Uh, <laughs> the man that said if he had, had to add a sixth move of Doom to his move set. It would probably be teabagging Jim Cornette. <laughs> so seven foot dude with attitude, Diesel. Now I Another do guy have. I had on my list, actually. Well, I do have two versions of him that I could use. I do have Diesel, and then I have a uh, a Outsiders version of Kevin Nash. So I could go either or. But I like the diesel look, so I'm gonna, gonna stick with that for now. The hair flip, bro. <laughs> the flipper punch. <laughs> All right. Next up for overdrive, who you got? I'm gonna use the hell of this guy because I see him as a major star coming soon. Mm. Yes. Oh, on Charlotte's boyfriend? Oh, F you. <laughs> Come on. I, I had to. <laughs> Charlotte's boyfriend and Charlotte's dad. Those two guys are amazing guys. Yeah, right. Char- Charlotte, she's just okay. But, man, that's awesome. Uh, got Andrade. I, have a, I only have a basic of him. It, uh, it, it breaks my heart a little bit. I need to I need to get an elite. But, and you were telling me that the... the wasn't there one that was like Amazon exclusive or something? One that I wanted, or, it was or, ringside, or ringside exclusive? But it was supposed to be Target exclusive. But they they axed the line, so they just put it out to Target. But oh, uh, to, uh, but um, yeah, that figure it's across the board, not just me. His body's hella loose, so it's, it's really weird. Ah, uh, that sucks. Well, good thing uh, I didn't buy him. So part kind of bent forward. So I I do have another one though that is perfect. So. Huh. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I like I said, I only have the basic one. It was the uh, it came in the NXT line. So, yeah, I have that one too, actually. Yeah, but all right, pick number nineteen. I or no, I'm sorry. Eight, this is pick number eighteen. I'm no, back at my numbers. I so far I've picked eighteen. Or yeah, this or this will be eighteen. 
like looking at my board or seeing who all I got. Well, you might have taken somebody more than I did. Like you might have taken more tag teams or something. I don't know. Okay, that's probably what it is. okay. Yeah, but yeah. So pick number eighteen for me. I could have had him in a tag team. Decided not to. I'm gonna kind of let things, you know, happen the way they happen in uh, on Jack. But number eighteen, I go with. The mm. bad guy, Razor Ramon. He was on my standby. Damn. Yeah, had I had to get him, man. I uh, trying to collect the click. Well, most of the click. There's there's one glaring omission that I haven't just, drafted yet. Yeah, just incredible. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Uh, I actually do want a figure of him. So <laughs> I I know you were, I know you're making a joke, but I kind of I kind of want that figure. <laughs> But yeah, so all right. I'm actually shocked. There's one guy you haven't drafted yet, considering how big of a mark you are. I for him. know you're talking about. I'm not taking him, so just so you know, so don't worry. Wow. Okay. Well, I left him off my list completely because I was like, Greg's going to take him. I, so I, I wanted to go, like him. I said, a little more modern. With I just that's what I, I hear you. Well, hey, more possibilities for me, I guess. But all right. Anyway, pick number whatever. Just the for the record, we're talking about the Shockmaster, right? Well, yeah. I, but Hogan, well, I actually that, I should that, take the sh- that, that is a shot. That's a figure that is someone like theoretically we both could take because there has been a Jax and a Mattel. So there have been of Typhoon. As well. <laughs> I own yeah. a Mattel Typhoon. I do not own a Jax Typhoon, so I couldn't use him. But yeah, in theory, yeah. yeah. All right, next, uh, my last tag team. Oh man, can you, you can you guess what the Overdrive brand wants? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I see the red solo cups raining from the sky. <laughs> they will be basics uh, until mid November. Nice. Cool. Yeah, so the guy that wears two headbands and Bianca Belair's husband. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the guy that wears two headbands likes Ohio State, so screw him, but I'll still have him on my team. Or my, Wait, my roster. He does? God, yeah, he never shuts the hell up about it. Oh, I. Wait, basketball or football, or just all in general? Uh, I I see. I noticed it during the football season last year. So. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't follow him on social media, so I don't know. He's hilarious on there, dude. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, Montez Ford just kind of posts "God is good" every single day. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, not that he's cool. wrong, but dude, you have like a platform, and people love you. <laughs> yeah. That's, well, he hey, he wants people to know God is good. I guess I don't know. Uh, but either way, all right. Does God so, want the smoke? I, I don't know. Maybe I'll make I'll make sure to ask him if if uh, we end up not going to hell like we keep we are. after the podcast. Some days I think we we're not uh, we're never going to see Jesus. But either way, all right. Number uh, with you. I mean, I'm shocked you didn't take this guy. But at the same time, with you saying you're all more modern, I get it. I left him a little deep in my draft, even though I love him. But number nineteen coming to the Jack brand. You were talking about the goat, right? Kurt Angle, the Olympic wow. gold medalist. And he is not, by the way, coming to Jack with a broken freaking neck. So he is uh, he is 100% healthy and cleared up. And yes, I'm using his EC, WWE CW theme, because I always like that remix. Hard choice. I might end up using his TNA theme now that I think of it, but either way. That's what I like for now. It may change tomorrow. Okay, full disclosure, um, that was my authority figure. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, that changed some stuff. I probably should have said it earlier now, but I had a big reveal planned. Well, we could work out a trade if you would want. But I have a backup plan. Dude, okay. trust me. I'm, I'm a Triple H man. There's always a plan B. Oh, man. Seth Rollins, the Monday Night Messiah. <laughs> you ruined the surprise. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry to say if they made him figure. if they made him in a suit, I would use the Messiah as my a GM. I see some possibilities there, but anyways. Oh, <laughs> All right. Who uh, who you got up on next? Here, All right uh, for the draft. This is one of my uh, what do the kids say? Low key favorites. <laughs> Good lord! All right. Yes, I, I know the themes. Help me. Elias. Oh my gosh. That's why I didn't get it right away. 
God dang it. All right. Wow. You got, <laughs> you got the drifter. Cool. I need his figure. I don't have it. I've never seen it in stores. There's only, there's only been two, I think. Oh. An entrance, uh, great. And then the actual, um, the actual uh, elite. I remember I found it uh, on a road trip in my friend L.A. And I found it on at a Walmart we stopped at, and I just geeked so hard. Nice. Yeah, I would have too. I mean, I, I know what I just said, maybe kind of mocking it, but I, I do want that figure. Hey, I mean, I I got a little bit giddy when I found that Mojo Rawling hit for like, what, five bucks? <laughs> I want to slap you. Well, that's the only reason I, I got giddy <laughs> about it, because I was like, five bucks. I just realized something. What? That was the one in the two-pack with, for the Hype Bros, right? I believe so, yeah. And you found him at um, Quake in Chicago we went to, right? Yes, yes. Um, in in yeah. the bargain bin. <laughs> uh, I just realized something, though. Uh, a friend of the show, mutual friend Ramon, he he bought, I believe he bought the Zack Ryder loose from that two-pack. So he's the a-hole that made it so I could have the pipe for us. <laughs> I'm blaming you, Ramon. I don't think he's going to get mad at you for taking Mojo Raleigh. Who's on push number 5,061. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> well, all right. Well, my next pick. Uh, Just not Mojo gonna... Raleigh. We got it. Shut up. I'm not going to queue up the theme here uh, on the on the CPU, but uh, I am going to take the Bang Man, DDP, Diamond, Dallas Page, number 20. Oh, and you queue up that epic theme. I should have. I should have queued up his WWE theme that sounded like so generic that I just wanted to punch a wall. I want to punch you for your mention that. <laughs> I was, I heard that theme in WWE and I'm like, wait, you go from a Nirvana <laughs> instrumental to this. Like, come on. <laughs> I will probably be using his TNA theme because it was basically his WCW theme, but they added the "It's me, it's me, it's DDP" to to the uh, intro. Mm. So, all right, that he I actually considered him for my authority figure at one point, and I'm like, you know what? No, because my color commentator is going to wrestle, so I don't want a, a wrestling color commentator and authority figure. And plus, I could have some fun with Easy. So he's going to wrestle. So did you just spoil that? Ted Turner's your commentator. <laughs> oh my gosh, I. I, you know, that's another one. It's like I would, if if they made a figure of Ted Turner, I would probably buy it just to say I have it. <laughs> I wish there was a um, Mattel Elite of Eric Bischoff, actually. Yeah, I know. Well, he kind of screwed himself now by popping up in, in AEW. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I don't think that was you know coming down the pike. Anymore, but I could be wrong. All right, next uh, next pick for yous. Who you got? Uh, it's kind of funny because I my last, a couple of weeks ago I picked two guys who want the smoke. Yeah. Something tells me this guy would too. Bro. Oh. <laughs> the bro. Different, the different kind of smoke. Bro. Mm, probably the same kind of smoke. <laughs> uh, Man. Nice. Uh, I, I need that figure too. I forgot you told me you got him. You sent me a picture of him and everything. Uh, I have a basic and an elite of him. <laughs> Screw you. I don't have either one. <laughs> ah, man. I hate you for that, but whatever. All right. Damn. Got to make this next one uh, meaningful here. I think this guy, I'm just going to go ahead. I, you know, we, we talked about we can control all the, uh, the uh, gimmicks, if you will, of somebody. So the certain person that I picked up, I get to control their many gimmicks, or should I say their three faces. I'm taking Nick Foley. And you use his awesome theme. Oh, yeah. Look, everybody might not agree on this, but come on. That's easily his best theme ever. This dude kicks, man. The only theme that comes close, I think he used. And I could use all three faces of Foley or four, because the I technically have a Cactus Jack, but he looks just like Foley in a Cactus Jack T-shirt. Which by that I mean he's wearing like white tennis shoes and brown sweatpants, and he's got a Cactus Jack shirt with a, a red flannel over it. But I do have two different mankinds, and like in the brown. And in the button-up shirt, and I have a dude love. 
So uh, you'll just have to see how he shows up on Jacked, the hardcore legend. I, I loved your um, <laughs> your rule about you can't have a voodoo pimp for the Godfather and Papa Shango. <laughs> yes. You have no idea how much that floored me. <laughs> like, because I could literally, I could literally do that. I have them both. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Yeah, because I was thinking about this. Like, if you. You're like, man, I really want to use the Godfather, but I only have Papa Shango. I didn't think it was something you were going to do, but I felt it needed to be put in writing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So might as well get specific <laughs> with it. Uh-huh. But all right. Who uh, who up next? Up next. I'm a mark Girl for this crap. guy. It's getting, it's, he's getting even better in pro wrestling right now, I think. About time. Oh, Cedric? Yes. Wow. I need a Cedric, too. You're See, behind, dude. You need to get a lot of guys. Yeah, all, all you're doing is, like, reminding me of all the figures I need to start collecting. But Damn you for that. But, I don't know, it's, it's, it's helpful to, to look around. It's like, who the hell do I need? Um, there are quite a few, by the way. I didn't specify which figures of who I have. Uh, I just see a picture of them now, so it reminded me of my Undertaker. I literally could go with any era from all the Undertaker figures that I have. Gray uh, gloves and spats, purple gloves and spats. Um, the, uh, I have the Ministry of Darkness. I have the American Badass. So multiple versions of Undertaker I could use. Oh, so God, you're going you're gonna to rewrite history. It's coming out of an egg, aren't you? Don't ruin the pay-per-view, Greg. We haven't even had our first television show yet. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I, don't, I don't have Gobbledygooker, although I kind of wish I did. But <laughs> either way, my next pick, the next pick in the 2020 draft. It, coming... like, real, real quick, I'm sorry. It's shocking they never try to capitalize and makes that. People would buy that, you know. I don't think I would. I, yeah. thought they, I thought they did make a figure of him. Am I wrong? If, if they did, I never saw it. But <laughs> I feel like that's something do. stupid they would have done and would have cashed in on. Collectors would have bought that. I don't Like I said, I don't think I would have because it would look stupid in the detail. But... People would have bought that. <laughs> Mattel absolutely should make one of those because they, you have brought up the WTF figures they've made so far. So I'm like, how have you not made? Yeah, whatever. All right. Anyway, up next, coming to the uh, the jacked brand on Monday nights is filling filling the team out, man, or or, or is he filling the team out? You'll again I'll have to wait and see. Hmm. The British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. That one, I didn't know. It, again, that was another one since you're going more modern, which is cool. It's more modern versus classic. Um, I didn't know if you had him and if you were going to snake him. I do have him, but he's not open. <laughs> ah, so yeah. that would uh, specifically mean you were definitely not going to snake him. Yeah. Uh, all right. Cool. Also, the, I don't know if you heard, they just announced that uh, they're not going to be releasing the British Bulldogs tag team style of him that comes with Matilda, at least for a while. Huh. Why? I don't. They didn't give a specific answer. I'm pretty pissed about that because it was on my wish list. So, yeah. uh, wow. I mean, at least Ringside's well, not getting it. Hey, look, everybody, all the fans that are on the in the group that are from the UK are pissed because they're not going to get it. Period. I'm like, at least give wow. it to them. Right. I mean, that's their guy. What? If there's one place he was cheered <laughs> like a god, it was <laughs> his namesake. He's the British Bulldog. Now we're coming out with a new Bret Hart, but Canada, you're not getting them. Yeah. It makes no damn sense. So why didn't you put them out in England? I just... Hey, first time in line, great Kali. By the way, India, sorry, we don't have distribution. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Up next, uh, we're, we're nearing, we're, we're wrapping it up here. Next couple picks. Who you got coming to Overdrive? Uh, uh, 23? Uh, I don't know. I'm on 20. Yeah, I'm about to pick 23. You might be. I don't know. You got to number your got to number your bros. I, I I did. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm I'm on number 23 right now, and I oh. even numbered the tag teams one and two, five and six, seven and eight. Ah, did I miss okay. a number here? One, two, three, four. Nah, five, you just six, got seven, ahead of me somewhere nine, along the line. Yeah. Okay. Well, either way, I have either way I have <laughs> three picks left. So okay. <laughs> okay. To, to make to make 25. Okay. So my number 23, the Michael Jordan, I guess. <laughs> oh, good lord! Well, you already picked Ryder. <laughs> It's true, I did. Uh, you might not even know this guy's theme. Any guesses? Uh, no. 
It's Drake Maverick. Ah, uh, wow. I've never heard his theme before. Do you not watch NXT? Uh, when I have, I've like, I have been like crunched for time, so I zip through the entrances. So, until recently. Recently, I've been watching. So, man. Nice pick. I That's another one. I really want that Drake Maverick. Uh, whenever I see it in stores, I will snag it. Ah, nice. Well, number 23. Ah, I, I hate to do this to you, man. I, I really do, because, you know, you and I were talking. Um, but he is my wrestling color commentator. For number 23, I am picking... Jerry oh, wow. the King Lawler. JR and the King. How could I not have that team together, man? You can't split that up. I couldn't have taken him, honestly, until next month. <laughs> yeah, you told me you were like, oh, well, I'm going to get him next month when he comes out. And I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I, I didn't want to be a, a Richard about it. But I was like, dude, I, I got JR. I need the King. And then I was sitting there thinking, I was like, well, there is one other guy I could put as a color commentator and be happy with it, but I don't want to. So this guy is, and I'm not going to ruin the surprise about that one. But yeah, uh, number 23, Jerry the King Lawler, man. And I want him to be a wrestler on the side. I have two the versions wrestling. of him. <laughs> I have two versions of him. I have like a 90s version uh, where he's like, you know, the 90s Jack toys that are kind of smaller. And uh, he's in his blue and white. And then, uh, and he's actually like the WWF version. And then I have a classics version where he's in an all red singlet and he's got the beard, like from his Tennessee days. Uh, is that the one that came with Andy Kaufman? No, he did not come in a two pack. I mean, that was from that era, but yeah, I wish I had an Andy Kaufman. I know people are going to might laugh at that, but seriously, I wish I had an Andy. Well, Kaufman. He was one of the more rare figures to find. He'll yeah. set you back bank. Yeah, I'm sure he will. So stupid. Will you had to go and get a house. You idiot. <laughs> I know, right? How dare I want to live in a place? I should have just stayed with the in-laws. Oh, man, I need my toys, man. (laughs) Catch-22, when I was at my in-laws, all my toys were in storage. So I I was kind of screwed either way. way. Yeah. So by buying a house, I got a place to put my figures. Well, that's good, I I guess. Actually, Uh, now that I look at this, by the way, um, Jerry Lawler is actually on backward already. So I wouldn't have had him until January, at least. Man. Him well, and uh, the new elite Keith Lee. Darwin. Damn. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I need that elite Keith Lee whenever it comes out. It's harder than hell to find. That's why I'm just getting off of ringside and paying the extra few bucks. So yeah. I know I'll get it. Right. Yeah, everybody, uh, patronize uh, ringside collectibles if you can. I, do, I am cheap, and sometimes I don't mind. As long as it's in good condition, I let all my figures breathe anyway, so sometimes I'll go to the uh, the Bay of E, but, you know, ringside collectibles is great. All right, next pick. You were at 24? I believe. 24. Yeah, so to 24. For Greg, what you picking, bro? Or who you picking? 24. Let's see if you know this song. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'll know it when you tell me, maybe. It is The Disciple, Murphy. Oh, I, I was like, Brutus the F and Barber? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I do not have a figure of him. I do. Uh, spoiler, you know, for uh, future storylines. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh so, god, he's going to give someone a haircut, isn't he? Uh, he's uh, full mullet mode, too, by the way. Wow, that's a uh, nice pick. I love Murphy. I need me a Murphy. I want a yeah, Murphy. good luck, good luck, because like the only Elite Murphy they have is like 160 bucks on eBay right now. Damn, that's another one I found randomly on a road trip. I'm glad I grabbed it. Nice. Yeah, I want Murphy and Kenny Omega, so they can have a, a battle of whose V trigger is better. That that would be the day Kenny Omega upgrades to the Devil's trigger. <laughs> what the hell? Well, it's a new move in Street Fighter Five. They just added it with the latest upgrade. So it's a devil's. Oh, really? it, it, that's where you got it from Street Fighter. So it's a V trigger, uh, but it's upgraded to the devil's trigger, which I've been waiting for him to use and call it that. So it's going to happen. So if I you hear him, if, if you hear him call it the devil's trigger, that's where it's from. Huh, good to know. I was wondering where the hell V trigger came from. So I'm glad you enlightened me. I'm not an avid. Yeah, you know, I, I only play Street Fighter sometimes. I'm only an avid fan. <laughs> it's a joke, everybody. So don't don't right, mess with right. me. That, that's not. 
Actually, that's not what it means. <laughs> I wish it was a joke. <laughs> well, yeah. It, who, who said it is a joke? But that's beside the point. All right. Uh, num- pick number 24. Second to last. I put him so low because I was like, mm, I could do without him. I don't want to. And I don't know if Greg is going to think to snake him. And now I, that I see the way you're drafting, you would not have thought to get him. So, number 24. The ultimate warrior. I had thoughts about him. Well, we all have think I have thoughts about his bulging biceps, Greg. But you know, no shame. I would have used the WCW version because that's all I have open. Oh wow! The ultimate well, edition. No pun intended. Glad I snagged him then, so you <laughs> didn't get a chance to use that. <laughs> But all right, yeah. So, uh, Ultimate Warrior, second to last pick, everybody. Now I'm kind of rethinking my last pick, but I mean, there's nobody else I really want, so I don't know. Anyway, your last pick comes first. Who you got? It's, it's not the Great Cully. Ah, uh, sorry. I was I was waiting for it, and you teased it off there. You didn't bring it home. I do have a Jax figure of the Great Collie. Of course you do. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, we could, may or may not be showing up on Jack. We could just do yours next if you want. It's just going to be Rob Conway. Just get out of the way. Oh, shut up. Hey, I, aren't you surprised I didn't go with Simon Dean? A little bit. <laughs> he might uh, He might be my my backstage interviewer. You, you never know. I still have to uh, pick one. Uh, wait, we're talking about you're not and use him as your strength and conditioning coach? I don't... Hey, I don't want to tell you how to book your show, but I think you're that's a huge missed opportunity right there. But hey, again, your show. I'm not going to micromanage. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, All I, right. I think I think it's apropos since it's the last pick of the uh, of the draft for you and I. I got to... I got to... One more time. Oh, wrong. Why are you doing this to me? Here. For Mr. Irrelevance, as we call him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Mr. Irrelevant, uh, uh, number 25. Okay. I saved him for last because I knew there was no way you can get him because I believe he's only had a couple of picks. Okay. Yeah, my Mr. Irrelevant. I is the one let, and only. Don't let that pick. <laughs> that was that total coincidence. Don't let the fact that he's last fool you, by the way. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, my last pick isn't like, who cares about him? But he's on. He's honestly one of the ones I thought you would sna- like not snag or you would snag later on if you were going to take him at all. So, uh, Well, I don't have a, a Palmer Cannon figure, so. Neither do I. I but I not I do have a Paul Burchell and they had a lot of interactions. I, I honestly thought you were going to pick him. I Paul really did. Burchell. I'm not yeah, I'm not joking. I thought you were. Why the hell would I draft Paul Burchell? Well, he was a damn good wrestler. And I can't remember says I love the pirate gimmick, but maybe it's just oh me. Oh my gosh. I got him in a the, the entrance was awesome. It was something. Oh, shit. Clearly them trying to capitalize on Pirates of the Caribbean. And clearly looking for or a second use for Rey Mysterio's entrance. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, all right. Well, here we go. Pick number 25 for the Jack brand. Last one. Doing it to me again. All right. Setting it up. My final pick for the Jack brand. Mr. Perfect. Kurt In the Manning. perfect position. Yes, he is the perfect choice for number 25. And he is anything but irrelevant. He is Mr. Perfect. Had to snag me a Kurt Hennig, man. Uh, think of think of all the epic matchups I can have now. Shawn Michaels, Kurt Hennig, Bret Hart, Ric Flair, Chris Jericho. I just the possibilities go on and on. I am I like really it. shocked. I'm really shocked that you only snaked two picks from me. And it's fine because Mr. Perfect 
was going to go undrafted. I don't want to say that to, to you know, to, to uh, offend uh, the late Mr. Perfect, but uh, he, he was one of my backups. So it was the ultimate warrior, but hmm. I still, I still have three backups I never had to use. So they will be on my show. Uh, as far well, yeah. Well, maybe full disclosure. Two of mine I can't use yet, but I can use when we start. So that's uh, all I'm gonna say. Nice. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. Well, sounds good. Uh, I am already in the process. I started booking my show, but I didn't book it too deep because I'm like, ah, I mean, with all these names that I drafted, I was like, he's gonna take some of them, and I was wrong. I mean, I'm glad I didn't. I mean, I mean, obviously, it. my first few, obviously, I was wrong too because I really. You know, yeah. yeah, I know people. I mean, why the hell did you start with the Hardy Boys? I'm like, I thought for sure you were going to take. I mean, you did have them, but like, I, did, I, did, I didn't know where. And I was like, I have to take them first because those are some of the only ones I know you me that you probably would have. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So just I out know. of curiosity, so you didn't have Benjamin Hurricane Busos or at least one of the majors, yeah? I I couldn't have had the majors or the Usos uh, at all because so. uh, I know the Usos did have Jack's figures. I just. Did they? I feel like they did. Someone said they did. I don't. I don't think. No, their first well, figures I mean, came out in Mattel. I remember because it was that where they had the the braids in their hair uh, when they first debuted, and that was. I wanted those figures. They went quick, and you'll never find them. Oh, uh, okay. So, but yeah. Well, so either I, way, I would have taken them early anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So none of them. I'm really shocked. I got Steve Austin. I thought you were going to take him. Uh, I yeah. my first mock draft. I had quite a few guys that you had, but I was like, I kind of want to go more modern. Then that'll, see, that'll be a good contrast in styles. I'm going to have uh, on my show, you know, a lot of legends, as everybody can tell. I mean, yeah. I looking looking at everybody I drafted. There's not one person on that list I wouldn't call a legend. So, yeah, and looking at my list, I think the oldest person I drafted, it's either AJ Styles or one of the Hardys. <laughs> so, Hurricane too. Is there? Is there? Yeah, he's kind of okay. Yeah, still not a lot though. No, no. It's, uh, yeah. So looking good in the neighborhood. We, uh, you know, we had, I think we had a very successful draft here. Not a lot of, uh, stealing and, and wheeling dealing. So I will say this, though. The only thing on this draft that was like, it's going to change some stuff is my GM. Right. Yeah. So no, no Kurt Angle, but I am going to, uh, and, and my authority figure, like I said, Eric Bischoff, Easy E. Is he going to be a face? Is he going to be a heel? I mean, it's, easy, heel. it's easy to say he's going to be a heel, but you never know what way I'm going to go with it. He's Maybe he's changed his stripes, you know, changed some things up and uh, got a new lease on life with his new podcast. Although he doesn't have a podcast here and, uh, you know, yet. This is still uh Does WWE. he still have a podcast? <laughs> well, was it, what? No. Does he still have a podcast? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Screw you. Uh, anyway. It's great, and, by the way. Everyone should listen. It's one of my absolute favorites. Oh yeah, I it's mean, probably my second favorite, right behind the majors. I like uh, how Conrad said, you know, he'll he can ask a question uh, and like wind him up, ask a question, let him go, and then he'll go downstairs, make lunch, drink some coffee, <laughs> come back, sit down, and go, uh huh, put it back on yeah. view, eat his lunch, drink his coffee, put the headset back on, be like, is that so? Well, what about such and such? And then t- and put it on mute and take his headset off again. It's like that uh, entire rant was one breath. Yep. You always know when he says the words, hey, we're going to go a little bit in the weeds with this one. And it's going to take an hour. Well, to be fair, Conrad, Conrad does it on purpose. So, Yeah, and I mean, that's why people listen to his show. And why I listen. Hey, we're talking about another podcast here on our podcast. We should be pump, uh, pimping up our podcast here. So, yeah, if anybody listens to the main event, Marks, it's on this feed. Uh, definitely give that a shot. We review classic retro events. We always try to keep it timely. So... We're not going to review a SummerSlam event in December, you know. So we, we try to keep it because when I think of summer, I think of I mean I think of December, I think of the heat. <laughs> so. Hell yeah! Well, I I, I know you do. You oh yeah, I mean it's it's October here in Ohio, and it's already just a balmy you know fifty some degrees. But uh, don't remind me of what, what my weather is right now, please. I just uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah we, uh, we we review classic shows every single Wednesday. We do one bonus show a month. To give you your money's worth, and your money is zero dollars. So you get the show for free ninety nine at this point. And check out our YouTube. Just search for Main Event Marks on Facebook, Instagram, and we are main of, at Main Event underscore Marks 
or I'm sorry, that's uh, Twitter and Instagram. Facebook, we are facebook.com forward slash main event marks pod. And uh, on Instagram is main event at main event collector. And that's where we're going to be posting a lot of stuff. We'll be posting on both Instagrams for uh, main event fig federation. But yeah, so uh, good stuff coming down the pike. Definitely we will, we will post the rules. So if anybody wants to know what the rules of the fed are, check it out. I'm very excited for this moving forward. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, I think we're both. I'm very happy because I got basically everybody I wanted. Yeah, I did too. Uh, now I just got to figure out what the hell to do with them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know what I'm doing with some of them. Others, I'm like, hmm, where am I going to stick you? But anyway, uh, no, nothing. No, no, I'm not going to leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just going to leave that one hang where it lay, or hang where it hangs, whatever. All right. Well, anyway, thanks, for everybody, for tuning in to the, the first annual draft. Uh, we may – we'll have to discuss this. We may switch things up on a yearly basis. Maybe not. Depends on where our storylines are going. I know we discussed every three months, like once a quarter, um, maybe dropping some folks, picking some folks up if we so choose. But, yeah, so that will kind of keep things fresh. Yeah, make it so we don't get so complacent, I would say. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, so we'll I, – I mean, I don't think it should be a requirement, but maybe, you know, switch up a handful of guys every every three months, once a quarter. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned in here. Each show will – I mean, this was a little longer because it's the draft, pal. God dang it. It's <laughs> airtime. <laughs> but it's – Damn it, pal. More content. Pal, but, more content. Put us on Fox. Where's that god dang robot? You remember the robot in the draft room? Uh, yeah, Cletus. Cl- its name is Cletus. Yeah, the fox robot. Oh my gosh! I yeah. that's, the, that's the whitest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. I was waiting for you to say it. I didn't want to say it first, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's a whole like a really really white guy underneath that suit. Yeah. Oh, you're well. You're Cle- Your name is Cletus. Well, you're you're clearly um, Asian. I, I I don't know, but all right. Anyway, not me, that not me, for, not me. That does it for the draft, don't everybody. Me. Thank you all. Follow us on social media. We will also be posting stuff on Reddit. If you go to the fantasy book area of Reddit, now I, I know that means you have to actually get on Reddit, and that's not always a pretty place. But uh, check it out if you want to go on there. We'll post some. some well, you don't stuff. like racist comments and sexist comments and homophobic comments. What, you, you don't like all that. Well, it, on Reddit, Greg, everybody sucks. Just yeah, everybody sucks. So it just it's and everybody's them, mother's a whore. I considered drafting him, but I, <laughs> he may or may not pop up later on on Jacked. But stay tuned. <laughs> Every Monday, uh, starting next week, we will have Jacked and Overdrive, the debut episodes, and you can see what comes after the draft. And then, like I said, every Wednesday is Main Event Marks. And then one Friday a month, I'm trying to keep it to the second to last Friday of the month, but sometimes life gets in the way. It'll be on a Friday, and I'll tell you when. We get a bonus show once a month, so check that out. And the pay-per-views will be on Sundays, so uh, I, Greg and I have to discuss when, so I'm thinking every four weeks probably. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah. Okay. Well, every four weeks, watch out for a pay-per-view. And we will well, what if I wanted that. to do Taboo Tuesday? Well, then you would be wrong, Greg. <laughs> uh, it's, it is. <laughs> oh, no. Not that. Anyway. All right. We will see you all next Monday and every Wednesday here on the Main Event Marks Pod. Oh,